Oh, man, we are in the central plaza. Wow. Thank you, homesters. Look at this. Oh, this is wild. Thanks to the hardworking team at Destination Home, PlayStation Home is back in a very early closed beta, which I'm going to jump into right now to take a look at. And we'll also talk to one of the leading developers to get an idea of what's going on with the current progress, the challenges thus far, and more importantly, what's coming up in the future. So, to address it right away, Destination Home is an independent team dedicated to restoring the original online functionality of PlayStation Home, much like we've seen previously with other PS3 games and having their online functions come back online with private servers. But of course, something like PlayStation Home is a lot different. So for those immediately curious on how this is possible, here's your brief answer. This will require custom firmware or homebrew enabler, considering home did have various iterations and present day consoles might have home removed, we need to allow our console to reinstall the home package. With that done, and punching in the corresponding DNS settings for the destination home project, I was ready to jump into their closed beta. Oh, we just jump right in. Welcome to PlayStation Home. This is your apartment. <laughs> this is wild. The Harbor Studio. I don't know what works and doesn't work, I'm going to be honest. So that's the other the other thing is that this is 100% a closed beta uh, with restoring PlayStation Home. So there's going to be many things that aren't working like they should despite this being a official full build that they're trying to restore so i imagine i would imagine a lot of the stuff is not going to work the way it's supposed to okay let's try and get my face looking a little bit more like me i mean i'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it i know i have kind of a big nose All right, kind of looks like me, doesn't it? Just need some jewelry. Just sit down. And that is me. Alone in my fresh Harbor Studio apartment. <laughs> yeah, I remember this too having to download each individual space. And if you didn't have it yet, you walked up to it and you got hit with this. Oh, all right. Yeah, this is uh, certainly one of the later ones, right? I mean, this must have been... So I, I don't know what the... Uh, <clears throat> Like how up to date this is, but clearly it's one of the very last iterations of home because we've got the PlayStation 4 signage right here where they were actively advertising the new console. And uh, that was always a question back then, too. Is that. Uh, are they going to port home over? No. <laughs> no, they're not. Hey. What's up? I don't have a keyboard plugged in. That would be helpful. Oh, reliable. <laughs> the running man. Ah, oh, thank you. That's sweet. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Kind of a little stoic and boring when there's no music playing, but I can still get down with it. Pretty much everything else works properly here, except the mall entrance over there. Okay, so don't go near the mall entrance, and don't go near <laughs> the PlayStation 4 area. Offline clients of home, but this is the real deal. Yeah, so that's the whole point, right? They're really restoring this, so you can have... Uh, you can do this, right? Because that's what he's saying. Before there's offline builds, you can jump in and just kind of walk around on your own, but that's not what home is. Home is this. Two people being right next to each other talking, and it's so wild to see this again with the uh, you know whole metaverse nonsense being thrown, thrown around left and right, but this is why Sony 
was always they're such a fascinating company in that they do things so early uh, and then they kind of have to kill them off because there's no adoption but then you know five ten years later another company does it and they see success that Sony did not Considering the complexity of PlayStation Home, restoring it isn't exactly a straightforward process, so I spoke with one of the lead developers on the project to get an idea of how it started and the challenges thus far. My name is Nagato and I'm one of the lead um, content developers for the Destination Home project. I've been personally working on this project since 2019, so it's been quite a while. We've been just really working hard online to get it working on the latest version on official firmware as well as the RPCS3 with RPCN functionality. So I know that's pretty cool with crossplay. So there was an individual named Megalia, and I remember this particular individual was trying to archive as much information about PlayStation Home. During this time, the only like major capture, which was hosted on archive.org by an uh, individual named John Drinkwater which had like 43 gigabytes of data. So this individual, as well as some other people like in the Discord, like Figment, uh, DeadSec, they were like just asking data on GitHub. So it was not even really a group on Discord yet. I joined in like 2019, but even past that, I've always had this idea, could PlayStation Home come back? I was just originally a fan, not even like a developer at this time or, you know, but I always had that thought like, I feel like home could come back online. So I recently, or I messaged Megalia and he was like, yeah, you know, if you have insight on how to, you know, restore home or just anything like that. And that just kind of stemmed as the community grew, we met other individuals who has, you know, tremendously progressed online to what it was today's. 1.86 was the very final revision in home. Um, I know at one point we did technically wanted to start on 1.0 to see how like we can basically see how stable it was but with 1.86 it had all the compatibility for like older versions as well and then in terms of just home in general um home was like multi-regional so home it had like a u.s region at a japanese region and to have like a support for eu uk uh russia all of these entities and trying to obtain like so much data like i know on the github right now that i've been personally archiving it's like 236 gigabytes worth of home data that i've been just data mining over the years and we're still missing like a ton of stuff from like asia or korea or just like really obscure places such as like japan having a high compatibility for like outfits and just all of that was you know a thing that we had to really like settle on too so it was a long a lot of long nights you know just trying to figure this out as a group you know painstakingly but you know i feel like we're at definitely a good place right now oh man we are in the central plaza wow thank you homesters look at this oh this is wild and here's the dance floor Sadly, the Listen at Home app is permanently offline, but check out the main video screen for a playlist of your favorite classic Central Plaza tunes. FYI, Chain Swing plays every fourth song. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I do, I do recall this being a huge deal, this little area. Then they had to... They did this whole thing near the end. Boop, 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 boop. Oops. I didn't really play a lot of this. Much like most games on home. Because they're kind of not good. <laughs> but it's still really trippy to see this again. Now I know the mall won't work. All the uh, stores should not be working. Which makes sense. So I don't know how they're going to plan on distributing distributing content <clears throat> since that's a kind of a, a core issue with bringing back home is the plethora of digital goods that were available throughout throughout its service. Well, cosmetics wise, I mean, there has been documented probably like 60,000 items just and that's just public ones that have been like 
made it fully through production there was some like internal content that never made it out or qa stuff that has luckily also been archived but we're trying to do our best and to figure out how to really implement that via with like psn with playstation 3 it doesn't seem viable to use like their original services and stuff like that which could be possible but it's just kind of like one of those areas that i personally don't want to touch but for like rpcs3 and stuff like that we could make maybe like a fake store where everything will be for free and then people would just download and purchase content like normal. But the cool thing, since we we're talking about clothes, users who actually purchase content while home was alive, and as long as we have that data in our server, basically it would just sync to your account. So my main account, for instance, I've had content I purchased back in like 2013, 2014. It's all still there. So a lot of play people who are playing on OFW and that are essentially have like their original content they are still seeing all of their stuff and like furniture they bought people who probably spent you know hundreds of dollars on home from like various reasons can now you know have some type of ownership on their content at least with ps3 well since chain swing is not playing there and nothing is playing over here I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh movie magic <laughs> Now these were these were free, right? You could play these. Play. <laughs> Gotta download this too. I got this is what kicks up the fan on my PS3. This is what does it. Oh my god, it's, it's been so long since I've seen this. This is like a repressed memory. Totally forgot it was it was a thing. And now I'm sitting here staring at it and it's freaking me out. This is what it's all about. <clears throat> Just bowling with the homies. There go there. There. Dead on. Oh, we don't want no spin on that. That should be good. Looking clean. Just a little bit rusty. It's only been like... <clears throat> what, like 10 years, right? In terms of like mini games, so like some of the basic ones like Bowling Alley and those are like more of the basic games, but something like Sodium, they have like stuff connected to like external leaderboards. Same thing with like Konami Penthouse and more of like the full on in depth games that home hosted at one point in time. They will definitely take, you know, more time for us to try to like reverse engineer to see how we can have compatibility issues, because mind you, it's not like we're just working on our, our, you know, PlayStation 3. We're also trying to get like our PCS 3. And since that is like an emulator itself, trying to have, you know, implement custom protocols that we need to implement just for home, for our PCS 3, excuse me. Like for instance, like the keyboard functionality that just got fixed on our PCS 3 then. So we have to like, you know, incorporate that into our, you know, versions for, you know, cross compatibility for PS3 players and our PCS3. So very easy for me to work on because I can like, okay, it's just a PS3 issue. I know what to expect rather than having so many like externalities and variables on that end. I mean, like if we're being honest, these games are bad. <laughs> uh, but that was that was always the promise is that there's games in PS Home and there are. It's like so janky and bad, but it's it's just good enough to be like a very competent Steam shovelware game. So it's it's not like these are like terrible per se, but like this is why I didn't play PlayStation Home games and I imagine that's why most people didn't. But again, the kind of people that you know, jump into home every so often, not the, you know, the kind of folks that really just came on here for uh, the chatting, the online relationships, and, you know, things like that, right? It became a routine for a lot of people. But what do I do about this? 
So there's that. Ooh, glittering beach. I'll download that. Beach. Konami penthouse. Imagine that, you know, Konami doing, like, nothing for years. and But if you go back to this time, they kind of had a heyday. Not only with the games they were releasing, but supporting PlayStation Home. Little Big Planet, oh my, I think they, I think I have to add that to the queue. Loco Roco, the Namco Arcade, the Siren Lounge, Sodium Hub. So is the beach done? Beach is done, we're going, we there. I'm in Buffalo, so right now it's getting really cold and gross and not fun, so... I could use some time at the beach. Frame rate's not looking too good around here, but you know, just relax. Don't need frames when you're just looking to chill. Take photo. Sweet. Does that save that to the PS3's uh, local storage? Should, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> Some fancy little villas over here. Hello. So the stores don't work. Tried anyway, but yeah, they're all gonna say that basically. Granzella. And here we have. Very romantic. Relax, I think I will. <laughs> Just PlayStation Home thoughts. <laughs> Another question I had for the team was, what does moderation look like? Home is a very social experience, and with this now happening on private servers, what values and moderation will be upheld? Once we have like, you know, a good, you know, community like management system, just like how Home had, like they had their set line of moderation teams and stuff like that we kind of want to re-implement that too to help you know lighten the load because i already know with other projects like home in particular there's going to be a lot of people people who are buying ps3s just because of this or like rp or getting you know high-end computers just to you know potentially get harassed and bullied i personally do not want that on my watch the thing to remember though is that any sort of preservation effort it's a passion project they always are and that holds true here as well yeah, so with just me re recently right now, like about to graduate um, from college, you know, recently just started a new job. And then it is like a lot of work. But when I have like moments like this, talking with you or just seeing somebody like stating that when they just see pictures and they're like crying, uh, it really makes me excited to like work on this project even if there's a thousand hurdles in my personal life this is kind of like you know a vacation from my you know college and just other entities that are going on right now all right the uh little big planet space is pretty cool i don't think i ever visited this when home was a uh, originally out oh, look at that all the marvel stuff Hold on, this little trap door is kind of... It's piqued my interest. Oh, yeah. Oh, the original LBP2 trailer. When this came out, it was so hype. I, I freaked out. When they do this cut right here, and you see all these new gameplay mechanics, and then... Uh, they show the expanded, like, what you could build with. It's this transition right here. It goes... A platform for games. And then you can see all the, uh... Two million levels, like, they're still... They're still there, looking better than ever. Oh, this was such a sweet trailer. Wow. Ah. Oh. List of th add that to the list of things I didn't think I'd see again today. Konami! Are you guys sell games? News to me. Oh. 
Sounds about right. They do have a little Castlevania thing in there, though. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So why is this called a, a penthouse? This is more like a rooftop deck. Look at that. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. An advertisement. Right on a giant high-rise. Okay, so I imagine the music's not working like, like it should here. Oh, is that Lord of Shadow? In PES 2011? Oh. There we go. Can't even make out what that one is. Ah, uh, Metagor Rising. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, too. Wow. <laughs> this is, uh, so weird. Spend time on the DDR floor. Turn Konami points. Use L to activate the dance menu. And L and X to select a dance move. Oh my. Wow. Interesting. Oh yeah. Oh, we're about to have a good time in here. Where you could actually play all the, the little arcade games. So I can play Dig Dug. Sweet. Uh, no! Install Namco Museum Essentials. Or the Trial game data. Interesting. Well, I guess it makes sense. They don't let you play it for free. You know what's weird? I actually, I have this game, but it's not installed on this PlayStation 3. Uh, and I'm also not on the ID that has this game owned. So, had I thought about that before, I probably would have made sure I could do this. The Idle Master SP Missing Moon Venting Machine. Okay. Do you know the game, the Idle Master SP? Yes, it's a game for the PlayStation Portable. Yeah, I know about it. Yay! What I get? Great. What can I do with them? So the big thing to keep in mind with a project like Destination Home is that it's a nonprofit. they're not looking for any sort of financial support, but what does help is dumping any PlayStation Home cache data that you might be setting on. The more data we have, the better we can restore spaces or just to archive home in general for years to come. That's like a big thing that I want, like 10 years down the line, people could still have, you know, make a good look on the GitHub and like, wow, this is how home infrastructure was ran, or basically just, you know, have moments where you can just play offline because we did that at one point or with online as well. We're planning on having the servers on for a very long time. We want to, you know, have that president on. So by people, you know, donating from like maybe seeing a PS3 on eBay that may be from Japan, for instance, and that can help us, that can help us restore, you know, regional localization for other people who maybe from another region so that's something that i would i guess say you know still please donate um it does actually help even if you think your data is not unique i'm every data i'm 99 percent sure everyone's data is unique in some shape or form so it really does you know just help the overall preservation of this project so i i earned stuff from all, all the things i i messed around with today ah yes where am i gonna put my drinks I think right here should do it. Oop. Okay, there we go. Cracking a cold one. By myself in my studio apartment. Okay. So that was my jump back into PS Home after all these years where you could actually use it in an online way, right? Not an offline build, but being able to talk with somebody, hang out, play some bowling, things like that, right? That's what home was. And so once they get to the open beta where more can actually 
um, use home again like intended, uh, I think that's where the real livelihood and essence of home might return like it was back in the day. So um, thank you so much to the Destination Home team and uh, Nagato for speaking with me and talking with me about the project. I'll leave all the relevant links down below if you want to keep up with it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't just yet, please consider subscribing for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mystic Ryan, and that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.